This is WEEK 25, Peoria, Bloomington. Coming up, opening the door to the past, precious memories are revealed from a time capsule. Some of the area's best. Some East Peoria church members celebrated the year 2000 today by taking a step back in time. They opened a time capsule buried 21 years ago, and with it they opened a flood of memories. News 25 Shannon Tebbin joins us now with more. Shannon. Well, Gina and Edgar, some of the church members admit that as teenagers they didn't like the idea of a time capsule. But now, 21 years later, they're glad they did it. Many of the members who helped bury the time capsule have since died. So opening up the contents today was kind of like a trip down memory lane for some, and an emotional trip at that. Joan Cunningham flew in from Georgia for the opening, but couldn't remember if she'd put anything inside. I really don't know, and I'm going to look and see. I don't, I don't remember if I did or not. I was here, but I don't know if I did, because I was one of those who thought it was stupid. God bless. Love you, Joanne. Cunningham certainly likes the idea now, especially when she opened up a letter written by a close friend back in 1979. She says they've drifted apart over the years, but she's hoping now they'll reunite. Other items inside included newspapers, license plates, old credit cards, and even some jewelry. There were also pictures of church members and personal belongings like razors and Bibles. The church has turned opening the time capsule into a reunion with activities all day. We'll have more on what they found inside coming up tonight at 10. Gina and Edgar. That's great, Shannon. It's nice to take a trip down memory lane sometimes. That's right. There's more to come for Brownwood in your hometown.